this fine evening. Um, today we're going to uh, do a presentation on the introduction to business intelligence. My name is Brian Shah and I'm from BizData Learning Solutions and hopefully I can guide you through a bit of a journey into business intelligence. So a little bit about myself. Uh, I've got a business information systems degree. Uh, I'm Microsoft certified in business intelligence so I've been working in the industry for, for about 10 years. Um, I'm also a specialist in business <coughs> intelligence and I've been instructing and mentoring for the last couple of years principally the larger clients. So I'm more moving now into the learning and development and hopefully I can pass on some really relevant information to everybody in the room. Okay, so let's move on to module one. So this is the introduction to the business intelligence architecture. So what we're going to do, or what our objectives are in this, is to provide an overview of the business intelligence architecture, which is principally made up of four, four areas, being your source system, your staging environment, your data warehouse, and your data marks. I'll give you a couple of little tips along the way, some mnemonics, just to be able to remember some of the concepts that sit within these. And then at the end, we'll do a quick review, and just make sure that everything's sort of stuck in everybody's heads. Okay? Any questions? No. Okay, review. Just to make sure that everybody was listening to me. So, what we'll do is we'll do this together as a group. So, uh, so what is a source system? It processes real time, real -time transactions. transactions. That's right. Okay, it contains data structures optimised for modifications. So, what does that mean, Mark? In layman's terms, what, do, what does it mean to you? It, it allows uh, the information to be updated one at a time, so a yep. customer can be retrieved and updated for one time. Yep, and it's a record at a time, not, yep. not big bulk updates and things like that. Yep. So it usually provides limited decisions to support. support. Yep. And they are commonly referred to as online transaction systems. Yep. Or operational systems. Operational systems, great. Okay, so the next piece in the, in the, in the story is, is around the staging area. So the staging area is used for integration, for cleansing and transformation. These are real key concepts of business intelligence because we need to bring the data together, we need to make the data accurate and timely, and sometimes we need to transform it and change it slightly for reporting purposes. So it's a very, very key part of it. And I've got a couple of handy tips later on some mnemonics that will actually help you to remember some of these contexts. Um, it's limited in history. It's normally smaller data sets. It may be daily or weekly, um, depending on the frequency of the updates of your source systems. Um, error management is normally handled within here. Um, so we'll look for records where there might be errors and that type of thing. Dave, can you think of any sort of errors that you would typically see in some of the systems? Uh, with customer records, I've seen date of births that are, um, like it just um, has some silly date, like the 8, 1800. Or 99999. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly, that sort of thing. Um, and adopts the same naming generally as the source system. So the last little piece in the, uh, in the box, if you like, of tricks for the, for the business intelligence is what is a data mark? So it's the same data as the warehouse, but it's generally summarised at a higher level. It's a lot faster to get information in and draw it out, and it's much better for reporting for users. So it's normally a subset of data, subject related, department related, might be HR or finance related type information. And it can be relational or it can be multi-dimensional. So just in review, we've, we've basically we've gone through the model, uh, we've gone through the way that the data processes through from the source system right through to a data mark and then to the final place where it gets consumed in the reports. Um, so we now have an understanding of the source systems, your staging environment, your data warehouse and your data mark and we've got a nifty few mnemonics that you can remember. Can anybody remember? Oh, yeah, which, which stands for <laughs> integrate claims and transfer. Yeah, excellent. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to take a um, take a break now. So when we come back, we'll be looking at um, 
extract transformer mode or ETL. Um, if you use, uh, if you want some coffee, you go into the kitchen and that'll be provided. If you want to take a coffee outside, you can go out to the cafes. Please be back in 15 minutes and be prompt so we can get out of here on time. And thank you very much for all your learning.